Once you've opened up the analyzer, you first need to select the which statistical software you're using by selecting SPSS or SAS from the software button. The analyzer creates syntax that will run in either SPSS or SAS. I will be using SPSS, but the process of creating syntax files is exactly the same for SAS. Before undertaking any analysis, it may be necessary to merge together data files from different respondents. To do this, click on the Merge Module button. In this example, I will merge the student and teacher data for Grade 4 pupils. Note that Grade 4 means Year 5 in England schools. You will have two windows. The top window allows you to select the sample that you want to analyse, and the second window allows you to select countries. So from the first window, select the directory where you have downloaded the Grade 4 data. By clicking on Select, C Drive, I have all the data in a folder called Tim's 2019 Workshop, and the Grade 4 data is in a folder called T T19 underscore G4 underscore SPSS data. Select that folder and click OK. Next, you need to select the study, cycle, and population. In this example, the study is Tim's. The cycle is Tim's 2019. And the population is grade four. Next, you need to select countries from the list in the left-hand window. Here, if you scroll down the list, find England. If you highlight England, then click on the play button in the middle of the screen. England is now selected in the right hand window. You could select multiple countries or all countries, but for now we'll focus on England. Then click on next at the bottom of the screen in the middle. You then select respondents on the left hand side of the screen. We will merge the student background and teacher background data. So first select student background and you will notice by selecting that that all the assessment variables automatically go into the right hand window. In the left hand window you have a selection of all the background variables in the data set. So in the same way as we chose England previously, you can just highlight a variable and click on the top button in the middle and it will go into the right hand window. Or if you click the second button down in the middle, that selects all the variables and they will all go into the right hand window. You can repeat the process for the teacher background data. So select teacher background. And again, I want to select all the variables. So I select the second button down. And all the variables move from the left hand window to the right hand window. Then if you click on the define button in the middle at the bottom of the screen, then you can type in a file name. So I've created a separate directory called syntax and I'm going to call this file g4 underscore student underscore teacher underscore merge underscore England. Note that spaces are not allowed in the file name. If you click on save, that creates the SPS syntax file. Finally, if you click on the Start SPSS button, again at the bottom and middle of the screen, this will open up SPSS. To run the code, Press Control A to select the whole file.
then control R to run it or click the play button at the top in the middle of the screen. This runs the SPSS syntax and creates a merged data file of the same name created in the same folder as the syntax files here.